Hello, my name is Ryan. Welcome to another video tutorial where we're going to be talking about the RC car calculator, ways that we can estimate the speed of our RC car. Before we get started, make sure you click the subscribe button on the radiocontrolinfo.com website so that you can stay up to date with the latest content that we output. So one of the first things we need to do to get started is go ahead and hover over the information tab and RC car calculators. Then you can go ahead and click the RC car calculator. We'll then arrive at the page where we have the brushless electric estimation tool here that will help us estimate the speed of our RC car. Now, one of the first things we need to do is figure out all the information behind our radio controlled vehicle. So we'll take a look at this Hobeo vehicle. One of the first things we need to do is get the pinion gear that you can see right here as well as the spur gear in the video. And then you want to take a look at the pinion gear of the differential as well as the spur gear in the differential. The last thing that we need to do is go ahead and get the diameter of the tire. So now that we know all of this, let's go ahead and look at our first image here. So this, this here is how we collect the information that we need to enter into the calculator. One of the first things that we know is this gear here. This is the pinion gear, uh, 89326. And then we need to look at the power and how it's delivered to the rear differential. In this case, it's using this drive shaft right here. And it gets delivered through this area here into this pinion. So this is 86002. And this is connected directly with this differential. So the differential is actually located right here. We can see 86001 is the actual differential gear that will be used. So now that we know the differential in the rear, we could take a look at the differential in the midsection. So the differential in the midsection is this 87338. And that of course connects to the gear that we saw up here, this 326 gear. So the next thing we need to do is go ahead and look at the chart because we're interested in the different teeth that are on these gears. So we know 86001. This is the crown gear located on the rear differential and front differential. And 86002, this is the pinion gear located on that same differential. And then we look a little bit further down. We had an 87338. This is the center spur gear at 48 tooth. And then we have 89326, this is the brushless motor gear. So this is your pinion gear on the brushless motor at 16 teeth. So now that we know all of our gearing, we can go ahead and put this all into the information on this calculator. So let's go ahead and enter the motor KV. I simply look at the motor KV on the motor and it says 2650. So this is the one I specifically purchased for this vehicle. I know that I also am going to be running four cells of lithium polymer. And here we go, we can enter all the pinion number teeth. So this is the one on the motor. I'm gonna start with the 16 and we know this is connected to a 48 tooth. And then we can go ahead and put the 11 for the differential pinion gear. And then the mating gear for the differential in the rear and front is a 43 tooth. Now I go ahead and I, I've already measured the tire diameter. So if you haven't already, go ahead and do that. I know that my tire is going to be somewhere around 98 millimeters in diameter. Now I can go ahead and click this calculate speed button. So once we've go, gone ahead and clicked that calculate speed, we then get our output. So we have a car that's gonna go about 57.6 kilometers an hour. So for me, this is not something that's going to really achieve my goals. I'm looking more towards the 80 kilometer an hour range. However, the only thing that I can do for now is change two things. So I can go ahead and change my pinion, my number of teeth. So I'm going to go ahead and up that to 19. I have a 19 tooth pinion to drop into the buggy. Click calculate. Doing this will get me up to about 68.4 kilometers an hour. And the, the other thing that I'm able to do is drop the spur gear. I have a 47 tooth, so I can go ahead and enter the 47 in. When I click calculate speed, it now pushes this up to about 70. So it's not quite where I want to be in terms of my goals, but uh, it's getting there. And there's other things that I'm able to do. I just don't have any parts right now that I'm able to place into the buggy. So 
that there you have it that's exactly how you calculate your estimated speed for your radio control car this is going to get you in the ballpark of what it is possible to do keep in mind that this is of course on a flat surface with no wind or anything in the back um, it's also very it's a hard surface it's not in the grass it's through like your typical asphalt street sort of setting um, if you try and go through grass at wide open speed, you're not going to hit the speeds that are listed in this brushless calculator. So like I said in the beginning of this video, if you want to keep up to date with the content that we're outputting on this channel, please go ahead and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.